Hello, doctors. Uh, I know your exams are nearing. You have only a few more days left. So you must be revising. Yes, please revise. Revise at least two to three times minimum. Don't read anything new. Whatever you've studied uh, until now, those things, if you revise, that's more than enough. And uh, here from microbiological point of view, what I've made is I've selected 50 most important questions because these questions, whatever the topic in these questions are the questions frequently been repeated in all the exams. That means no way you're going to miss these topics. You must know. So it's almost like one revision here. And I have divided the topics separately, bacteriology, immunology, virology, myco and parasitology. So whatever the question been asked in the previous year with other important things, topics, you're going to discuss this completely. I've made it as easy as possible. That means not only just the mnemonics and uh, not more of theory or stuff. It's only the point to point, in very easy and funny way that you will not forget. Okay, so it's almost like one more revision for you. So let's start. Okay, so uh, first one. So I have the, the first topic, it would be from the general and systemic bacteriology. Okay, so now the first question. Here, uh, the first question is, one second, I'm going to this color. Yeah. So if you see this patient, 22 year old girl, present with what? Fever, severe headache, photophobia, and high fever. Okay. Headache, photophobia, high fever. This is a gives clue that something related with the brain only, something related with your uh, brain. So on examination, there was papillarima and nugal rigidity. Nugal is basically neck rigidity. So there is fever, headache, neck rigidity. The, it is clear sign what? The patient is It's going towards the meningitis only. The diagnosis is basically meningitis. Now, what other things you know? They say Kernick's and Brzezinski signs also positive. Those are two manuals we do to demonstrate whether the pa patient is having meningitis or not. So that also positive care. The next was the CSF examination. So CSF examination, they have did. And what they found? They found increased open pressure, normal glucose, normal protein, and leukocyte up to 200. Okay. Now we have to identify the causative agent. So let's see how to identify. So if you start like this, let's say meningitis, you know, uh, whenever there is meningitis, Whenever there is meningitis, what they do, they have to, we have to take the CSF. You have to do a lumbar puncture and then take the CSF sample and send it for the lab. So in lab, you're making analysis. Analysis to what? To check what meningitis is caused by different things. It could be a bacterial meningitis or it could be TB meningitis or it could be a viral meningitis, right? Viral meningitis. And then what are the things, you are, what are the criteria we have to check? One is the open pressure, CSF. Open pressure while you are uh, doing a lumbar puncture and you are taking the CSF out at that time. What is the pressure? That is important. Number one, okay, that is one. Yeah, and number two is the what your glucose level. Number three is your what protein, and then the last one is your WBC. These are the parameters that you have to check. Okay, so now when you're going for this, let's see what are the things we have to. Uh, what are the things important? Okay. Now, bacterial meningitis, open, see, remember, bacteria is big. Bacteria, TB, they both are bacteria only, right? They are bigger than the virus. Virus is small. You know, it's the smallest one, organism. So now bacterial TB, you know, open pressure, definitely. That means the inflammation is very high in bacterial TB. The TB, the inflammation is very high. So when you try to open, the pressure will be definitely high, increased, right? The pressure will be very high. It's increased, okay? So remember that the pressure is very high. It's increased, okay? In viral, it's mostly normal or maybe mild, you know, mild increase, not really mild increase, possible, okay? Remember like that. Glucose, glucose, bacteria. Bacteria means bigger, I told you. Bacteria is bigger, so unka jada glucose chahiye. They, they eat more glucose, right? So that means the glucose level, what happened when the bacteria eats all the glucose, in CSF, glucose level will definitely go low. Definitely it will go low. It is decreased, decreased. Both TB also and in a bacteria. So in both the cases, the glucose level go high. Viral me, zarurat nahi hai. Glucose ko zarurat nahi hai. small. You know, remember like that. Virus is chota hai, usko glucose zarurat nahi hai. So normal. It will be normal. Okay. Protein. Protein can have any inflammation. Of course, in the body, when any inflammation, what happens? All your mediators, like cytokines, other uh, inflammatory meat, they all come out. They are all basically proteins, right? So they come out. So bacteria TB bada hai. So definitely kya hoga? Aapka proteins chada hai hoga. CSF mein protein will be very high. It will be high. It will be high. Okay. Whereas in your viral, again, it will be what? Normal. Itna inflammation nahi hai. So definitely it will be normal. Or mild, you know, mild increase. That's not important. WBC definitely is increased in all the three because WBC, any inflammation, 
you have WBC, but which cell is coming? That's more important. When you talk about WBC, if you see here in WBC for bacteria, you know which cell will go high? Neutrophils. Neutrophil. Neutrophil. Neutrophils. Yeah, that is like basic. You must know. Neutrophil bacteria means neutrophil will be high. When you talk about uh, TB, TB, it's not uh, neutrophil. It will be your lymphocytes. Lymphocytes. Okay, please remember TB also lymphocytes. And in viral, what happened usually it is the, it is again lymphocytes. In viral also lymphocytes. One exception here, WBC neutrophil. In listeria, in listeriosis, in bacterial meningitis, when it is listeria, you know, listeria is one of the common cause of meningitis in children. I'll, I'll explain that also. The, in the listeria, maybe the lymphocyte goes L for L. Please remember, if, if it's a little bit confusing for you, L for L is the only exception, only exception. Otherwise, it's whatever I told you only. Okay. So in TB and viral meningitis, lymphocyte, lymphocyte. Now let's go back to a question. So it's very easy. So already I've just described it. So it means the patient has, if you see the thing, patient main thing is what? The open pressure is open pressure, CSO pressure is high. It's okay because in everywhere it can be high. Viral may normal or little bit high. So let's keep that. But important is what? Normal glucose, normal protein. That is enough. That is more than sufficient to say what if the protein and the glucose level in CSO is normal means it's a virus. Again, my borrow virus is small subset. So protein will be what? Not so high. It also will be normal. So glucose protein don't know high water. Virus doesn't eat glucose. So glucose will be normal only. Okay. So and leukocyte was up to 200. That doesn't matter. Leukocyte to every increase. Important normal glucose. So that means this is going towards what your virus. So virus. Now you check for virus here. Uh, streptopneumonia out, meningococcus out, they all of course meningitis, but they are bacterial cause, so it's not viral. So it's either adenovirus or herpes simplex virus. So here, which one you are going to choose? If you uh, if you check here, adeno and herpes simplex, the most common would be your herpes simplex virus. Okay, not the adenovirus. But actually, when you talk about meningitis and when you talk about virus, the most common cause of meningitis is what? Your enterovirus. Enterovirus group is the most common and followed by that is your herpes simplex viruses. Herpes simplex viruses, again, we have what? HSV2 is the most common cause. Here, the meningitis name is called molarets. Molarets meningitis. If you remember, it's called molarets meningitis. Molarets meningitis. Okay, molarets meningitis. Molarets meningitis is what? Molarets meningitis is very, very important because molarets meningitis uh, cause recurrent meningitis, the most common HSV2. Whereas your HSV1 also we have, HSV1 it causes something, it's not meningitis also it causes, but it's most common cause of what? Sporadic, sporadic encephalitis, sporadic encephalitis, sporadic encephalitis. This is a question they can ask this time. So please remember, this can be asked HSV2 or HSV1. HSV2 is smaller, it's smaller, 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 remember smaller, smaller type 2. Because see, L, L, N, so L plus L that is equal to 2. L plus L is equal to 2. So HSV2. HSV1, sporadic. S is there. So you can remember like that also. Sporadic uh, encephalitis. Okay. But what is the overall cause of encephalitis? If they ask you which is the most common cause of encephalitis, this question can be asked. In India or epidemic. Any India or India is epidemic for, in, in India or anywhere. When you talk about epidemic encephalitis, what is the answer? What should be your answer here? What should be your answer? I'll just change the color. Your answer should be your which one? Japanese encephalitis, JE, JE virus. Japanese encephalitis is the most common cause. Overall, most common cause of Japanese encephalitis only. Okay. But if they are sporadic, then it will be your HSV1. Okay. Herpes simplex virus 1. Though uh, HSV1, HSV2 code, they cause what? Herpetic lesions. You know that one. Okay. Especially HSV2 called genital herpes. HSV1 causes the uh, the, uh, the the upper part, above waist, any lesion, vesicular lesion. Okay. So we're done with this. So we're done. So uh, the, your right answer would be your herpes simplex virus. Now, let's go to the this picture. So now, this time, what happened? See, we are talk, when you're talking about meningitis, bacterial meningitis, so these are the possible organisms which are causing. So what they'll do, they'll give you the same clinical history, the same clinical history you will get, but instead of giving CSF examination, what they will give, they will CSF gram stain was done, and this was found. Okay, what I found? These are the things. Okay, these are the things. So now, how to remember? So it's very easy. You, are, you can expect a question, because meningococcus, the same type, mein, meningococcus a question aya hota. Okay, the previous question was, viral easily the csf basic may have we found it but here we are going to talk about now what the uh, other organisms so see when you talk about gram positive and gram negative now you know that gram may uh, uh, positive people are purple they are purple color they're purple and cool they're purple negative people they are gusha gusha so they are 
pink they are pink color pinky is negative negative pinky or pink color pink color people are negative remember like that right got it okay now we have to do something so we have either what are the things possible you can have either gram positive cocci or bacilli gram negative cocci or bacilli okay that is the clue okay now you see here this look at this one this is very beautiful this first one what you're seeing here this is how it's looking it is a first of all it's a gram positive because purple gram positive and it's a diplo cocci do do hai. you see everywhere there is two 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 and the shape is like this so it's diplo cocci it's a diplo cocci cocci and see the shape how it looks it looks like like this lanceolate by diplo cocci lanceolate so diplo cocci lanceolate means what is the thing diplo cocci lanceolate what is the diagnosis for this if it's diplo cocci and lanceolate the answer is your streptococcus pneumoniae streptococcus pneumonia streptococcus pneumonia okay number one okay this is one of them you know that the streptococcus pneumonia is the most most common most common cause of bacterial meningitis if they say it is streptococcus pneumonia apart from causing pneumonia streptococcus pneumonia is the overall most common cause of meningitis one of the dangerous one of the dangers we have some questions back for pneumonia we'll go there don't worry but now remember step pneumonia and what about this question see next one next one if you see this is uh the, see this is more a gram positive but gram positive what bacilli 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 or rod okay bacilli or rod exactly question of case they'll give the picture or they'll see in csf me gram positive bacilli so which is the only gram positive bacilli that can cause meningitis especially in children or adults also possible you had a question i uh there was a previous fmg question they've given that this is a gram positive bacilli or rod that is your listeria very good listeria very good listeria uh, uh, listeria monocytogens. So listeriosis. If you uh, if you talk about listeriosis, uh, what is the important thing you remember? Tumbling motility. Very important. List, tummy list, tummy list, tumbling motility or differential motility. Differential motility. This is a revision, uh, doctors. This is a revision. So please come with me. Tummy, tummy, kya hota hai? Tummy ka list hai. Uska naam is tummy list. Unka kya differential motility. If you remember, in my previous uh, revision, I told that differential means kya hota hai? Yes, sir, apita. Jab temperature is high, when temperature is low, 25 degree, it comes and dance. When the temperature is 35 degree, it dance not karta hai. So that's what it's called differential motility. Okay, and we have one test called Anton test. If they ask also, that's why I call him as a tummy list antony. Tummy list antony. So many judges, if it is a gram positive, basically it is listeria. Okay, got it. Now next one. Now here, uh, the other one. There's one more thing also. If you see here, this is what this is the gram positive, gram positive cocci, cocci, gram positive cocci in chains. Gram positive cocci in chains. As a chain, me, look, you see, it's a cocci, but they are in chains like this. Okay, so gram positive cocci in chains means which one you're remembering? Remember, there's only two. Either staphylo, streptos. Staphylo, though, it's a staphs ka kya person, the grapes person. So it will be in cluster, grape like cluster. Ye, ye chain me hai. So strip, strip is like a chain. So it is streptococcus. But consist streptococcus cause meningitis? We have streptococcus A and B. So which group? Group B. Group B ka naam kya hai? Agalactiae. Streptococcus group B, that is Agalactiae. Agalactiae. Okay, please remember Agalactiae. I'll, I'll revise strepto also later. But now, you, you for your meningitis ka purpose, you have to know. Every year, there is one meningitis question. So you have to know this. No way you're going to leave it. Okay, yes. So this is the gram positive. Now, what about the gram negative? Now, now let's talk about the your gram. Uh, this is the gram positive organism we saw now. Okay, either it's step pneumonia, listeria, or gram positive uh, streptococcus B agalatia group B. Okay, group B. Now here, look at this one. Here it is inside. Here also diplococcus. Yeah, pink color. Then I have what said. Pink gram negative. When it's pink, it is gram negative. So it is gram negative. Gram negative. What gram negative? Diplococci. Gram negative diplococci. So brine may gram negative diplococci. That is to see the shape. It is like a it's like a lens, lens, and a lens shape. So whenever it's lens shape, that is your nasiria meningitis. Nasiria, nasiria meningitis. Nasiria meningitis. Okay, nasiria meningitis or meningococcus. They are same. Meningitis or nasiria meningitis. Nasiria meningitis or meningococcus. They are same. Okay, when you're seeing this one, that one. Okay, then we have nasiria gonorrhea that's causing STD. That's not important here. Finish. Okay, now next one. What about this? This, if you see, this is again gram negative. Bacilli, gram negative bacilli, gram negative bacilli, you can have anything, you know, especially if you see here, it's more pleomorphic. So I can say it's a H influency, but not only H influency, you can have what? You can have your E. coli, which is also one of the common cause of meningitis. You can have Klebsiella, also one of the most common cause of meningitis. Remember? So these are possible. And now, you know, this, this is one thing. Now I'm going to add a little bit in this topic because you're going to cover almost all the bacteriology is going to be covered here now. Okay. So uh, important bacteria is going to be covered here. Now let's uh, do something. So now, 
Uh, when you talk about streptococcal pneumonia, there is uh, what you know. I, I'll give a. Uh, there's we are going to discuss streptomonia back so no, no problem. But main thing is what you remember the colony name, Droughtman's colony, and uska kya pasand the bio group. When you talk about streptococcus pneumonia, it is the bio group, right? Bio group. Bio means bile solubility positive, inulin positive, and optician sensitivity. Okay, I'll talk about it in a while. Okay, but before that. Uh, one more thing I want to say, see, when you talk about neonatal meningitis, when you talk about neonatal meningitis, neonat meningitis, which is the most common one, it is either E. coli, E. coli or, or group B streptococci, group B streptococci, even Klebsiella nowadays, group B streptococci or even nowadays Klebsiella also is coming popular and with that what, if they are asking gram positive, it's a listeria. So for children, these are the common one, neonates, but for adults, the most common one is what you are? Already told you, overall in adult and also in overall, the most common cause of meningitis is streptococcus pneumonia. That only I want you guys to remember. Okay, that's all. And that's all you know. Then uh, uh, Listeria chitol, tumbling motility, differential motility, maybe you'll have a question. Okay, important. That's important. And Anton test. And uh, in uh, group B, actually we're going to talk mainly what in group B is that. I How do you remember? Boys go for what? Boys go camping. Boys. Group B is B for boys. Boys ke kya pasand hai? Camping pasand hai? Dousra kya pasand hai? Hippo pasand hai? Hippopotamus. Camping mein ja ke kis ke saath kelta hai? Hippopotamus ke saath. Okay. Maybe it's an Assam or Odisha camp. Okay. So they like. So B for boys. B agalate. What are the two tests? Hipporate. What is camp for camp test? Hippo for hipporate hydrolysis. Ye question bhi baut par pooch chuka hai. Ye exam mein. So it's important. So hipporate and camp is positive for hipporate hydrolysis. And camp test is positive for your group B. Uh, group B uh, streptococcus. That is called agalate. Okay. So how to remember? Group B means B for boys. Boys like camping. Boys like hippopotamus. They are aggressive. No. That's what. Okay. Right. Now meningococcus mein. Meningococcus I'm not going to talk too much because you see. Uh, I think few things you should know. In uh, uh, one important thing about the uh, meningococcus is that what it uh, there's one complication called what Waterhouse Prediction Syndrome. If you remember Waterhouse Prediction Syndrome, Waterhouse Prediction Syndrome, Waterhouse Prediction Syndrome. That question can be asked. Okay, syndrome. So Waterhouse Prediction Syndrome. What is important? There is an adrenal hemorrhage. If you remember, they have adrenal gland hemorrhage. Okay, adrenal gland. That is can be asked. Adrenal gland hemorrhage in which one? So please remember it's a meningococcus. Okay, and they have rashes also. They usually get rashes. And if you remember this uh, nasal infections are very common in which one mac complex whenever there's a mac um, mac complex deficiency you remember complement complement no? uh, if you remember complement uh, membrane attack complex you call okay so when there's a deficiency with this there is when membrane attack complex deficiency there's increase of getting nasiria these are two points i just want you to remember okay otherwise you know otherwise nasiria and this uh, differential and all uh, when it comes i'll tell you uh, now, just remember this one, okay? And gram native HN is equal to capsulated. And if you see all one common thing, all are what? Capsulated, okay? All are capsulated because when this capsulated means directly causes meningitis, okay? That's important, okay? That's important. Now, let's go to then another topic, okay? We have done maximum for meningitis. So, you have to know this, uh, this one, please. You have to know. There is no other way because meningitis is an important question. So, generally, how you do, you know? And then uh, bacteria, TB, viral, how it is separating. And then you have to know individual uh, bacteria, which is causing important points. Okay, right. Now let's go. Uh, now the next question. See, this is another interesting question here. Huh. Look at this. Here, now you can answer easily. You know the everything. The child now came with a fever and neck rigidity. Fever, neck rigidity means it's a, it is what? Meningitis. There is no, uh, you don't have to think anything. It's just the meningitis only. Okay. So now meningitis. So this is a fever, nuchal rigidity will be the meningitis. Lumbar puncture was then, CSF analysis was then. What they show? They show decreased sugar. So decreased sugar, high protein. Many bola type. The sugar is less means bacteria. Bacteria is only eating, right? So bacteria ne kaya hua. So either it's bacteria or TB, okay? And high protein also either bacteria or TB, not virus. It can't be virus. Increased leukocytes came. So that could be again bacterial viral, but predominant lymphocytes, lymphocytes. So, so it's either bacteria or TB. TB also bacteria, but we are separating TB. Uh, usually, we always keep TB separately. So, lymphocytes. So, see from the previous thing I told you, only difference between TB and these two is your, what? Your lymphocytes. If you see here, here it's a lymphocyte. So, because of that, what happened now? I'm going to say this is TB. Lymphocyte is ISO TB. It's not bacteria. It's the same. Both. The only problem will be for you is whether it is what? It is TB or the only condition should be bacteria or uh, TB. Right? But over here, what happened? Lymphocyte is very high. Because the lymphocyte is very high, so you can think about what? TB. So your answer is TB meningitis. That's it. Okay? So you got the answer. Very, very simple. This is much only I want to tell. Okay? Now look at this. 
So, uh, and so because we are in TB, I think we should know a little bit about TB also. I know that you guys must be very thorough. Remember, there's one more phenomena in CSF. In CSF, what I, there is one more phenomena. They might, they might, okay. They uh, they asked in PG exams, which is frequently asked. There is something called, see, it's like a web, you know, it's like a web. Okay, so there is a phenomenon called cobweb phenomena. Cobweb of CSF after taking, if you do lumbar pinching and after taking the CSF, when you see the glass, you'll see like this, you know, this particle like a web, cobweb. They're called cobweb coagulum. So this is for TB. Okay, TB. Remember, TB is in the web. TB web mein hai. Okay, TB is in the web. Right? Okay. Now, what is this I've shown here? So whenever you make a sample, you know about TB. What is that? That is the acid fast. It is an acid fast organism. That's what, what we do. ZN staining, Zeal Nielsen staining, ZN staining or Zeal Nielsen staining. And you know the steps. Okay. I don't want to tell because the shortcut is how to remember. Whenever you think TB, who is helping? Um, uh, uh, Anand Mahendra is helping, right? Anand Mahendra. So, shortcut kya hai? How to remember? Uske pas kar hai. So, car, head, Anand Mahendra. Theek hai? Anand Mahendra. Car, he is the owner of, he is the owner of Mahendra company. So, car hit Anand Mahendra. His own car hit Anand Mahendra. See for what? Carbal fuxing. This is the steps, carbol fusion. You are going to use a carbol fusion, carbol fusion. H for what? Intermittent heating. Heating, intermittent heating. You do intermittent heating. And then what? Your, uh, uh, this, is a, this is a modern. And for decolorization, you are using what? H2SO4. Uh, A for acid. Acid. Acid may which acid? H2SO4. We are going to talk about that. Okay. When you talk about H2SO4, you are using the H2SO4 acid here. And Mahindra M4, methylene blue. Methylene blue. That's what your background is blue. This also I uh, talked in previous, but again, it's like a fast revision. How much revision you're doing, that much is important. It's, it's good for you. So this is because of this one. This is because of methylene blue. And here, what is this? This is carbol friction. So what color basal it is? It is the red color car. Red color car. Okay, Anand Mahendra has red color car. So it's a red basal It's a red basal you know, irregularly stained, red bacilli, irregularly stained, red bacilli, irregularly stained, okay? Red bacilli, irregularly stained. Now, when you talk about H2SO4, you know how many percentage we're using. We have different type of percentages, if you remember, yeah? What are the percentages? I'm right here, 25, 20 to 25%. One is 20 to 25% you have, okay? 20 to 25%. Staining method, you know, right? Carbol function, car heat, Anand Mahendra. C for carbon friction, H for heat, uh, intermittent heating, and A for acid, and M for methylene blue, Mahindra and methylene blue. 20 to 25 percentage is used for T20. T20 is TB, TB, right? For TB, you're using T20, okay? Then 5 percentage is for what you are? Once again, microbatrium, lepre, okay? Repeat with me, repeat with me, so it'll be very easy. And then other one is 1 percentage, 1 percentage, other, most of the things. Example, you know, cardia, ho gaya. Sare acid first parasite, acid first parasite. Which are the parasites, you know, acid first parasite? Bro, I'm not going to write everything. If you remember main thing, crypto, Cryptospora, cyclospora, isospora. Okay. And some of the highlighted uh, uh, hooklets and then uh, tenia sagittal segment, not important. The Dratis room, these are the HIV most common co diarrhea causing organism. Okay. Crypto, cyclo, isospora. Please remember. Okay. And then 0.5% uh, used for spores. S for S, S for sperm. Spores and sperm. Spurs and uh, spores and sperm. Okay. So important. Okay. I'm going very fast. That's what uh, this is a revision part. So, you know, you, you must be already knowing this. Okay. But even if you don't know, also, it's very easy. Five for lepra, no. Lepra, leprosy, lepra, one, two, three, four, five. Uske five percentage. One to sare parasite no cardia ka. There's no need to clue under. So no cardia and parasites. Parasite ka one, 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 one percent. Okay. And five is looking like a yes. So five and yes is similar, similar. Okay. So spores and sperms. Okay. Spores and sperms. Sperm is another yes. Another yes is for sperm. Okay. Spores and sperms. Okay. Done. Now, what is this? You will have examined this question. You can expect. You can they'll give you the picture of this and say identify the organism. So easily. So this is beaded appearance. You know they call this beaded. Essay hota. It's like a beaded. It's like a bead. Okay. It's like a beaded appearance. Irregularly beaded red color bacilli. Irregularly stained means that is your uh, TB mycobacterium. Okay. Right. Now what about this? Now that is the stain part. Now we have to know about the. Uh, what else you have to know? Now you are going to know about what your the uh, culture media. So when you talk about the culture media, when you talk about the culture media, you know, what is this culture media given here? You must be knowing really that is called LJ media, Levenstein Jensen's media, Levenstein Jensen media, it's an egg containing media, okay, it's a, it's a selective media for your tuberculosis, selective plus enriched, okay, selective plus enriched media, LJ media. And apart from that, uh, LJ, uh, only see, we have LJ media and other one is what we have automated, automated means what we have, back tech, back tech or midget, remember this, back tech or midget, back tech or midget, what's the difference? LJ media may karne me, it will take six, almost six to eight weeks. It takes longer time, but lo uh, longer time. But here it takes only one to two weeks. That's it. Midget automatic. It's like automatic indicator. Jab, uh, you, auto, you put it in the culture and leave it there. Midget, there'll be signal. There'll be light will on when it's ready. So then you have to just take and see it. You'll see 
uh, you'll see it's positive. Okay, but this is LJ media. You see what? Rough, tough, buff colleagues. They call rough, tough, buff colleagues. Okay, rough, tough, buff colleagues. They might ask. Okay, but this picture is neutral. This blue color media, they, there's only one blue color media. I say uh, blue color media, there's only one. Which one is that? It's your LJ media. Levenstein, Jensen's media. Levenstein, Jensen, Jensen, Jensen. It's TB, TB, TB. Mr. Jensen, TB. Okay, I know you must be knowing even few students who have just started studying or they didn't have much. Uh, they just came from, uh, you know, abroad and then they didn't have much revised. So it's revised with me. Okay. LJ Media, six to eight weeks only and back to And apart from that, when you talk about uh, for TB, when you talk about the uh, molecular methods, we have what? PCRs. Okay. PCR. So one that is called Gene Expert. If you remember Gene Expert, Gene Expert. Gene expert we have, in gene expert we have, and line probe assay we have. These are very popular these days. But please remember, these are the other tests, okay? Gene expert and LPA, okay? Apart from that, Monto textual, I'm not going to talk. Monto is basically skin sensitivity test. It's a tuberculin test, okay? It's type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. That and all you know. Only if it is more than 10 mm, you give positive. Less than 5 is negative. In between is intermediate, okay? Less than 5, more than 10. Monto text, okay? It's a revision, so I'm not uh, going to write everything and make you crazy. So just, okay, so remember those things. These are some few few important things that you're going to uh, get it here. Okay, yes. Now, uh, next question. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, now, next question. Look at this. Another beautiful question. This is also somewhat related to meningitis. Uh, good that, you know, that's what I made everything in order so that, uh, you know, you will know, uh, related topics will be easy. Yeah, you, you uh, uh, see, the one more thing. Yeah, just a second. Yeah, look at this. Here now, if you see, this HIV patient, HIV patient, CD4 count less than 100, 100, he developed a pulmonary infection. He had a pulmonary infection and the sputum sample collected showed acid first organism. Okay, the sputum sample was collected acid first organism. First, see the clue. He's a HIV patient. CD count is less than 100. And yeah, pulmonary infection, lung infection was there. So, and identified the acid first. So, you have to now check which are the organisms that is causing uh, pulmonary infection. Cryptococcus, yes, it can cause. Usually it's meningitis, but it can cause plus minus. Okay. Pneumocystis, but uh, but usually not. Cryptococcus mainly meningitis only. Uh, pulmonary is very not that common. Uh, pneumocystis, yes, it can cause. In HIV patient, me, yes, it causes. But when when the count goes, pneumocystis carni, the count should be less than 200. So this is out. Here to less than 100. They have given 100. No cardia, no. No cardia, this range, me, no. No cardia can cause, but it is not causing in this range. Okay. This also would be less than 200. So this no cardia, not that much now. But what is possible? Microbiotic avium intracellulare. This is the MAC complex. We also call as what? Microbiotic avium. This is the answer. I'll tell you why. When the CD4 count goes less than 50, ideally less than 50, but here they're given 100, but it's okay. But we have one more clue. Though One more clue. What? Acid first organism. Acid first organism, if you say, there are two acid first organisms. Either so, pneumocyst is out. It's pneumocyst is not acid first. So, I'm going to cut it out. Even if it's less than 200, yeah, acid first, it's not coming under acid first. So, what I'm going to, I have to choose between no cardia and mycobacterium only. Mycobacterium avium is under mycobacterium. It's under TB only. It comes under TB only. So, that is acid first only. No cardia also acid first. But the clue here is what? Here, the count. Count is less than 100. No cardia will not fit. You, uh, you, uh, it's ideally it should be less than 50, but here nearby. So we can still, still accept. So which is the two organisms? One is your mycobacterium avium intracellular complex. Okay, mycobacterium avium intracellular MIA complex, you can say MIA complex or mycobacterium complex. And the other one is your CMV retinitis. We are going to talk this also. CMV retinitis. These are most common cause of retinitis, CMV virus. Okay, retinitis. So when the CD4 counts less than 5 in HIV patient, these are the two common things. These are the two common things. Okay, so you got it. So microbiotum avium intracellular, it almost resembles like a TB. It's the uh, another microbiotum. You, you usually call it as the, uh, it comes under atypical mycobacteria. Okay, so it almost looks like a TB. Okay, that's what it's important. And please remember, when you talk about microbiotum tuberculosis, there are other few uh, tuberculosis you have to remember. I'm going to write that here now. Okay, what are they? So uh, they are, one is the mycobacterium mac complex, mycobacterium avium intracellular. Avi, avi, hai na? avi ke kya hai? TB hai. It looks like TB, so it also can cause TB. It looks like TB. Okay, TB. Dusra hai, mycobacterium, mycobacterium kansasi. Kansasi, kan, kansasi, yeah, kansasi. Remember like this, kanaha. Kana, kanaga. We, we have something named kanaga. Kanaga also has TB because question is thus. Which of the following atypical mycobacterium looks like a TB? So, kanaga. Kanaga is actually photochromogen. It comes under photochromogen. There are uh, other uh, semi, 
ICRT com. These all are I've uh, in my lecture. You can see, but now for revision, I'm going fast. This is a question frequently asked. And there is one thing, Mycobacterium marinum. Mycobacterium marinum. Marinum, Mycobacterium marinum causes what? You remember? Mycobacterium marinum causes what? Fish tank or swimming pool. It causes fish tank or swimming pool. Fish tank or swimming pool granuloma. These are other questions they can ask. Swimming pool granuloma. Swimming pool granuloma. Okay. Remember this. These are few things that I wanted you not to miss this. Okay. If you get, uh, if the question comes from there, you know, you will, you're not going to miss it. Okay. Uh, that's it. So these are the few things I want you to remember. Marino and uh, Avi and Kansasi. Okay, please remember this. Okay, and uh, this one is, uh, um, uh, uh, these are the things that is very, very, in exam, from exam point of view, they are very, very important. Okay, and Kansasi is non-photochromogen. No, that means, uh, sorry, in the Mac, Avi, it comes under non-photochromogens also. Okay, that's okay. That is a bit extra. But now you remember, there are two Avi and Kanaga, they have TV because they look like TV. Okay, this is important. And Marino cause of fish tank, a swimming pool, grand along. That's it. Okay. Got it? So we are going to the next question. So we have done with this one. So all these things related with the uh, uh, important questions, you can say. Now, let's go to other one. Now look at this question. This is a very interesting question. Uh, you must know, there is no other way to live. Always the question has been asked from the growth curve. Okay, growth, bacterial growth curve. So bacterial growth curve, which attains the maximum growth, maximum growth. So how to remember? It's very easy. So you know this graph very well. What is this graph has? So it starts like this. There is a lag phase, log, stationary, and descending phase, right? So this phase, the first phase, this is lag. Lag, log, stationary, stationary phase, and this is the decline phase. Decline and a decline. So now what happened? See, look at this. How to remember the things? Sir, how to remember? It's always difficult. It's very confusing. No, so I know that you guys must be ready. But even again, the people who are listening it first time, please. It's very easy. You don't, you have to score in this one. It's very, they ask only a few questions from this, but questions will be asked. So lag phase. So let's say that, see, now you're in, uh, let's always start with the vacation. Your lag phase is basically a vacation. Vacation. Before going to college, before going to college, what happened when you, if you're in abroad, you from other country, you come to India on vacation. What do you do in vacation time may? You start eating, you know? in vacation time, you start what? You start eating, 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 right? You're, you're going to eat so much. Eat in the vacation, eat, sleep, Netflix, eat, sleep, Netflix, eat, sleep. At the end of the lag phase, what happened? You will become mota, you will become bada, right? You will become, uh, you become, you become big, you become huge, right? You become huge. Size the weight will be increased. Now weight will go very high. So, so same way for bacteria. So in end of the lag phase, there will be maximum size of growth, maximum growth or size. Got it? Maximum growth or size. Oh, yeah. Lag phase, vacation phase. Lag is vacation phase. Kateo, sotero. So bada ho jau. You become big. You become huge. So maximum size. Then comes your log phase. Log phase, what happened? Already college phase. Log is active. You're in college. College me kya kurugi? Now you want to impress the boys and girls or whoever. So what do you do? You go diet, you do gymming, you do all those things, diet, gym, etc. etc. And then become what? Your size decreases. But what happened? You will be your cell is multiplying. No, your cell is dividing. Active. This is log is basically active. Your cells are dividing. So your size will decrease, but you're active and you're multiplying. So easy phase me kya hoga? This is the best phase for doing any biochemical. I write it here. Best phase for doing any biochemical test or uh, you uh, anything, any active thing in a lag phase, you're doing the inoculation, you know, in for uh, 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 from the diagnostic purpose in microbiology lab. This phase, when we when you when you get a new colony in a culture plate to make a broth, you put it. When you're inoculating, the first phase is a lag phase. That means maximum bacteria getting maximum growth. Then will be log phase. Log phase, bacteria is dividing. So it's an active phase. So I can do all the biochemical tests, staining, all in the active phase. And now when you're active, only you can do all these things, biochemical stain, everything. So you're active in your college. Here, after some time, what happened? Just uh, when the when your semester is getting over, you become stationary. Stationary matla, whatever, everything is equal. I mean, some people are alive, some people are dead. So it's equal, okay? Some people who are active, they're active. Some people are dead, dead. That is a stationary phase. So in stationary phase, how to remember? There's a clue. Stat. Stat, eh, na? So stat for S, T, A, T. Stat. So S for sporulation. So sporulation will happen here because already winter shuru ho gaya. I mean, I'm talking about China, Armenia, Russia. So aapka active phase ke winter ra gaya dobara. You're stationary. Sporulation ho gaya. Then T for... T for what happened? Toxin. Toxin production happens in this phase. Right? A for antibiotics. Antibiotics produce. Hota hai. And then 
ठीक है बी कर दो सो दैट वुड बी बैक्टीरियोसिन एनी प्रोडक्शन विल बी इन दिस फेज इन स्पोरेशन इन दी योर स्टेशनरी फेज फिर डिक्लाइन फेज में एवरीथिंग विल डाई Everything will die, decline, and so all the cells are going to die. That's it. This is the important thing. Easy. Remember your college days. You having a lag phase. Uh, lag phase is what vacation phase. So end of this phase, your size will go high. So you see question me. You see the uh, question. The bacteria at its maximum growth where after vacation. So that is lag phase. Uh, lag is the first phase. So don't forget. Okay. Log is log college. Okay. You're in college. Active. So if the size come out, you become active. So no. Stationary means sporulation. The sporulation question was repeated many times, so please be careful. Okay, and maximum growth. These are the two questions frequently asked, so you should know this question. I am sure that you. I made this easy for you guys. So remember your college vacation, your vacation, then college, then the stationary, and then decline. Okay, got it? Yeah. Now let's go to the next one. Uh, yeah, yeah. Look at this culture media. Identify the culture media. So culture media. Uh, you know, we have different culture medias you have. So this culture media is one unique one. Uh, you can always expect this. Okay, this culture media, they can ask. Uh, yeah, see. Yeah, before going there. So this is a culture media. So first of all, I want to give you a clue. Uh, how to remember. See, this is something where uh, I'll give you a clue, definitely. So before this, let's go here. So this is a girl. Her name is called Viba. Okay, this, her name is called Viba. Remember, her name is Viba. She, her name is Viba. And people call her darling. I don't know why she's pretty, maybe. So they call her darling. And then what she does, she has a boyfriend named Eltor. Eltor, who is foodie, very foodie. This guy, this guy you're seeing, this is a foodie. Okay, I'm coming. I'm, I'm, I'll go to the story and then I'll come. Every, I'll explain everything. It'll be very easy. And Viba is a darling and she's also star. Okay, she's a darling and star. And where she works, see, with a bag and everything, you know, she, she, has, she, 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 she goes to which one? She works in TCS company, TCS, okay, Tata Consultancy. She works, she works in the Tata, Tata Consultancy. So when she go to this work, she's, she's pretty sure she carries a beautiful carry bag. She carries a carry bag. And in that carry bag, she has an autoclave seawater. I don't know, strange. She carries autoclave seawater. And who is the driver? Venkat Ramanan. Venkat, Venkat Ramanan. Okay, South Indian guy. He is a driver. Okay, this is followed by her. She is traveling. Then what happened? Uh, yeah, then what happened? She's beautiful. What's the secret? Someone asked, what's the secret? She told she's using alkaline peptone water. She said that she uses alkaline peptone water for her beautiful face, for beauty, secret. And also rice water. She said that she's using rice water. Maybe, maybe some of the girls should try to become pretty like this. Yeah, so alkaline peptone water and rice water. But one day, because of depression, everything, what happened? She just, uh, you know, killed herself. She put a string on herself and she died. Okay, poor her. Okay, so now we are going to revise the Vibrio completely. We are going to give a complete Vibrio revision. So you don't need to revise your Vibrio. Now you will never forget after this. Okay, so, sir, so what is this, sir? Yeah, Viba, kya, sir? Viba is Vibrio cholera. Remember, Viba is Vibrio cholera. Vibrio cholera. Okay, Vibrio cholera. This is basically, if you remember, she's a darling star and very thin, like a comma. She's thin like a comma. You know, that's what she's darling, right? So what are the things you have to remember here? It is the, what is this? This is this is thin because comma shaped, comma shaped. This is a comma shaped bacilli. Star because motility. Kaise we call it as shooting star. We call it as shooting star motility. Shooting star motility. And other thing, darling because darting motility. If you remember, darting motility, darting motility. Even camp also uh, your Campylobacter also gives darting motility. I'll come there. We'll discuss there. But don't forget your darling Vibo also. All our questions. Darting, shooting star, uh, comma shape, C O M M E. -N. I I wrote comma, sorry, comma, C O M M E, right? Comma, comma shape. Everything is a question. Okay, Eltor. Why did I say Eltor? Because there is a, you can see there are bio serotypes and biotypes. Classic and Eltor there biotypes. So in Eltor, uh, if you they'll ask difference between classic and Eltor. I why I said put it because uska hai veg parata positive VP is Vox Pushner reaction, but I made it as veg parata. He likes veg parata. He likes what? He likes he likes what else he likes? He likes camping. He also likes camping. Okay. He likes camping so much. Camp me kata hai. And then what else he like? He likes the chicken. That is chicken uh, RBC agglutination test. Chicken RBC agglutination test. Okay. Agglutination test. Agglutination test. Okay. And one more is sheep hemolysis. Sheep RBC hemolysis. Hemo sheep hemolysis. Hemolysis. So, ye pura kata hai. Kya kata hai? Veg parata. Camp mein jata hai, he eats chicken and he eats the sheep also. So, Eltor, ho gaya. 
नो नीड यू दे आस्क यू डिफरेंस क्लासिक में ये पूरा नेगेटिव है क्लासिक में ओनली दैट दैट फेज का पॉजिटिव थिंग दैट इज द क्लासिक फेज और एल्टर फेज जो इट इज इजी उसके अलावा उसको सब नेगेटिव है बट एल्टोर का सब पॉजिटिव आ जाता है व्हाट आई एम ओके एल्टोर मींस ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर पॉजिटिव नाउ यू विल नेवर एवर फॉरगेट टीसीबीएस टीसीएस मैंने टास्क करना था बिकॉज बिकॉज उसका मीडिया है टीसीबीएस 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 मीडिया दैट इज थायोसल्फेट सिट्रेट यू नो नीड टू ऑल द नेम थायोसल्फेट सिट्रेट बाय बाय सॉल्ट अगर ओके ओके थायोसल्फेट सिट्रेट सो इट ओके इफ यू डोंट नो नो नीड टू वरी ओके दिस इज द टाटा कंसल्टेंसी दिस इज द स्पेसिफिक और सेलेक्टिव मीडिया अपार्ट फ्रॉम वी हैव बाय सॉल्ट अगर दिस इज द बीएसए अगर आल्सो बाय सॉल्ट अगर एंड व्हाट यू आर सीइंग हियर दिस इज योर TCBS agar, TCBS agar, TCBS. So question was asked from here only, right? So see, it became very easy. So if you knew it, it would have been easy. So this yellow, green, stylish is for your stylish girl Viva, Vibrio. Okay, you understand? Okay, and BSA me black, black what that? This also some looks sort of you know stylish. Now what is this carry bag? Carry player? Something clicking? Have you studied? Like six sir, I have studied. I have studied. I have studied. Right? Hey, I hope so. And autoclave sea water is same. Autoclave sea water. Autoclave sea water. And then Venkat Ramanan. Ramakrishna Media, VR Media, Venkat Raman and Ramakrishna Media. So these media, so this is a selective media. These are what transport media, transport media, transport media. So okay, they are for transport. Alkaline pepto water is for enrichment, enrichment. Okay, enrichment, enrichment. Oh yeah, they ask enrichment. This question definitely you can expect. I'm saying Vibrio is one of the chocolate question. So definitely you can expect one question from this. This funny thing which I told you, you know, Vibha, yaad karo, boyfriend, yaad karo, uska story, yaad karo. She goes to TCBS, carry bag, le rahi, auto clip, sea water, piti hai, because that's also for her beauty. And Venkat Raman Ramakrishna is a car driver, boyfriend, the elder, car driver, Venkat Raman and Vibha, ka, don't for Vibrio. Ka. And alkaline pepto water for enrichment and rice water, stool diarrhea. If you remember, rice water, um, kya bolte? we call this rice water, stool diarrhea, rice water, diarrhea. ओके पी सूप डायरे काम पर थे पी सूप सलमान का था ओ सॉरी सलमान ला टाइप ही सलमान नो सलमान ला टाइप ही टाइफाइड फीवर ओके दिस सेम सेम सलमान का पी सूप डायरिया सलमान कौन सलमान ला टाइप ही टाइफाइड फीवर बट राइस वाटर स्टूल किसका है विबा डार्लिंग का है डोंट फॉरगेट ओके द द स्टूल लुक्स लाइक अ राइस वाटर वेरी वाटरी एंड स्ट्रिंग टेस्ट इज वन स्पेशल टेस्ट you have to uh, mix with the bile and if you try to lift it up come ek parasite mein string test hai we'll talk about that later but uh, viba also finally yaad karo viba is a girl who suicide wearing a string at end of Usual story of uh, all um, this high-profile girls, right? Yeah, I'm just kidding. Just you know, why this is all for remember. No, no any hurting feelings. It's just only for you to remember. Okay. So revision, revision, revision. So this is important. Okay. I'm sure now your uh, Vibrio color is over. You have done. Okay. Uh, here I think uh, in uh, Vibrio the few things there that are in upcoming topics. May I will see whatever is pending. I'll tell. Okay. This is the important you should know. Okay. Now yeah, this is the one. I was waiting for this only. Now look at this mechanism. This also. Uh, twenty. Uh, this is also see this question. They were very clear. Twenty-year-old boy came to an emergency department with the complaint of continuous diarrhea, abdominal pain, with a history of travel two days back. So it can be anything. You know, there's a continuous diarrhea, abdominal pain, and travel two days back. It can be some diarrhea is there, food poisoning is there, but we don't know what. A stool example. Gram stain was done. It revealed a pink color, comma-shaped bacillus. You got the clue now. See that's what I told you. Viba was looking like what? Kama shape. She's very patli, patli kama shape. Them. Yeah, I know many girls dream like this. So one of the girls is Viba. She is patli, thin like a kama. So that's what I told you. That's what the question has come. Okay. So that means you already got a clue. What? What? This is a vibrio cholera. But they didn't ask that question. They are very, they are very clever. You know. So this is vibrio cholera. You found it. But. क्या सर बट क्या सर इधर क्या है सी दे आस व्हाट इज द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ दिस टॉक्सिन सो विब्रियो कोलरा टॉक्सिन का मैकेनिज्म क्या है दैट्स व्हाट दे आस ओके सो नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट व्हाट इज द मैकेनिज्म राइट ओके सो नाउ लेट्स सी सो योर मैकेनिज्म देयर आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ मैकेनिज्म वन इज बाय डिक्रीज्ड प्रोटीन्स योर बैक्टीरिया टॉक्सिन बेस व्हेन यू टॉक अबाउट बैक्टीरिया टॉक्सिन या व्हेन यू टॉक अबाउट बैक्टीरिया टॉक्सिन दे वर्क लाइक दिस हाउ दे वर्क वन इज बाय डिक्रीजिंग द प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस डिक्रीजिंग द लेट मी राइट लाइक दिस Yeah, I will write. I'm going to write it like this. Yeah, yeah. Decrease. I'm sorry. I'm going to strike this. I'm going to write here. Decrease protein. Okay. Decrease protein synthesis. One mechanism. Decrease protein synthesis. Right. Decrease protein synthesis. This is first mechanism. One of the mechanism. Number two is by activating through what? Camp. C A M P. Camp. 
Okay, not that camp. This is small c, small camp. Okay, not that cyclic camp where boys go for camping group A Agalati. Not that camp or not the camp which is studied in Viba. Viba's boyfriend Eltor goes camp. Not that camp. And okay, this is this is different camp. Let's start about this. Small thing. And then other one is your small c g uh, uh, cyclic AMP, cyclic GMP. Okay, GMP. Right. Okay. So uh, uh, now let's talk. So decreased protein synthesis may there's a clue D for diphtheria, D for diphtheria, P for pseudomonas, 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 and S for shigella, shigella, right? This is the mechanism. These three bacteria they act by decreasing the protein synthesis, right? So how? What is the mechanism for each one? You should know each one. That is very important. They're going to ask that question only. Diphtheria and pseudomonas. In the one okay, same mechanism, that's repeated many times, EF2 factor inhibition, EF2 factor inhibition, this one, EF2 factor inhibition, so you okay, So this is for diphtheria and pseudomonas, please remember pseudomonas, ekta kapur, diphtheria, diphtheria only, so you, I, there's no clue, you have to remember, they inhibit the elongation factor and decrease the protein synthesis, number one, okay. Shigala, shigala is very easy, because shigala is shila anti, shila anti is 60, Na? shila anti H is 60, shila shila, salman shila, okay, salman shila, 60, okay. So 60 years you need. I mean, usually Shigala, Sheila, I remember uh, Katrina Kepsi is not 60, but for example, because you have to remember, yes, yes, 60. So this also question asked. 60 years unit in the ribosome was inhibited by which bacteria? Shigala. So Shigala inhibits the 60 years unit and it decreases the protein synthesis. You got it? So decrease protein synthesis. Okay, of course. Now cyclic AMP mechanism, you have already closed that. See, C for cholera. So we are close now. Abhi, we came to the close one. See, cyclic AMP is also mechanism through AC. They are same. The mechanism, if you see, through the receptor cyclic AC, cyclic AMP activation. Cyclic GMP, GC, go and let cyclist, adelaide cyclist, go and let cyclist. They are same, same. So don't confuse. Camp or compare. So camp, you remember. Cholera, A for anthrax. A for anthrax. And uh, M ka E karo, it becomes E coli. Okay, M, you make it as E. M, you make it as E, e coli. And P4, P4 what? Pertuses. Pertuses. But yeah, tricky, yeah. So call race me agya. So look at the option. See everything they've given. 60 S, 64 Sheila and T. Shigala. Okay. EF2 factor ka already we told. Diphtheria and your pseudomonas. Please, you have to know this one. Important question. This this topic is very, very important. You must know. The question is everywhere asked. Camp ka is me clue. Hai. Cholera, anthrax, E for E. coli, P4, pertuses. Here, E. coli ka, this is labile. This is a labile toxin. It's called labile toxin will act here. E. T. E. C. ka variant. Here, same E. T. E. C. ka stable variant will act. E. T. E. C. Stable variant. Okay. So, even if you forgot, labile sabel ka sa confusion or a kese alkaro. See, stable people are good people. Na? Koi bhi life mein stable hai, they are good. Or good people are always stable. Good people are bad. Labile people are <coughs> vulnerable. So, they are bad. So, remember labile. Okay. So, you remember, A for angry people. Angry people are labile. But good people are stable. It is a stable toxin. Okay. That's it. Clear now? See, we have finished one full topic. Toxin is over now. With this, you can answer any toxin mechanism if they ask. Okay. Got it? So, very easy. Guys, I hope, yeah. Don't forget, decrease protein synthesis. Camp, camp, cyclic GMP. Allow. Okay. That's all. We, this is the basic mechanisms. Okay. Now, next. Now, this one. This is very easy topic. See, these topics are very easy. But yeah, don't worry. Even if you don't know also, I'm not going to judge anyone because we all have our own way of studying and everything. So it's fine. This is the time to revise. Okay. So now the organism that does not stain with gram stain. Okay. Gram stain, anything. If you want to stain a gram stain, you should have a cell wall. You need to have a cell wall for gram stain. Otherwise, you can't do gram stain. Gram stain, you know. What is the gram stain we're using? We use crystal violet. And then what we do? We uh, we use the iodine. Iodine, that is called grams iodine. And then you, we wash with the acetone or alcohol. And then we add a secondary stain, saffronin. Okay, this is the usual mechanism. Crystal violet, gram stain, the crystal violet. Uh, and then grams iodine, acetone, saffronin. This is the order. Yeah, this is the way. The primary stain and secondary stain. Saffronin is secondary stain. Primary stain is your crystal violet. And whatever, power, uh, again, I repeat it, positive means purple, negative means pink color. Okay. So now, which are, there are some organisms that does not stain with a gram stain. Okay. Does not stain. So which one are those? So chlamydia, uh, let's say, which one doesn't have cell wall? Mycoplasma, no cell wall. So that is totally out. So cut it out. So this is not. 
Chlamydia. Chlamydia is something intermediate between virus and bacteria. And moreover, it is intracellular. It always lives inside the cell. So virus property to again. So if it is viral property, then grams kese karogi. You can't even see through the microscope, right? So useless. Chlamydia ka grams is useless. Trypanoma pallidum, which causes the syphilis one, if you remember, that is like a spirochete. It's like this, spirochete. So has spirochete any significance? Does spirochete will do any uh, role, do you think? Can you think, do you think that we can stain? Because it's it's, it's moving, you know, it usually moves like crop and doesn't have this proper cellular arrangement like other bacteria. So trypanoma pallidum, you can't. So only place is nasiria. So nasiria, usually it's a gram negative. You, if you remember, gram negative nasiria meningitis or nasiria gonococcus. These are the two important species. So this is a gram stain. So the uh, all of these are not, they will not be stained. Only nasiria can be stained. So except me, nasiria aiga. So it can be stained. It's a gram negative. Okay. Got it? It's a very simple question. This is a very, very simple question. You could have uh, definitely not missed this question. Okay. Yeah. So this is the one. So this is the one because we're in Nazaria, maybe a little bit about Nazaria could be uh, useful. So when you talk about Nazaria, this is a Nazaria meningitis. Yeah, Nazaria meningitis, meningitis, and Nazaria gonococcus. Nazaria gonococcus. You know that one. This one meningitis causes what? We just spoke with, uh, with the first question, meningitis, right? It causes meningitis. Gonococcus causes what? Nazaria gonorrhea causes? Urethral STD, that is the most common cause of urethral discharge. Most common cause of urethral discharge. Urethral discharge. Hana? Sexual transmitted so quite especially for boys when they come with a painful white color, flow of grain, bolte, that discharge, that is gonococcus. And it looks like this is a kidney shaped bolte. We call this kidney shaped diplococci. This one is what? This is a lens shaped. Lens shaped or lentil shaped, lot of names. Okay. This is diplococci. Okay. Diplococci. Kidney. This is a kidney shaped, the kidney or bean shaped diplococci. And one more thing about bio, biochemical reaction. See, nasiria meningitis, we have M and we have G. So, kya positive? Mannose positive and glucose positive. But gonococcus may only G. So, glucose positive. This can be also question. This can be asked. Okay. All our questions in uh, gonorrhea, everything is important. Okay. Very important. So, G, 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 glucose. Okay. Now, apart from that, uh, here discharge, here meningitis. Complication may here. I already told what was prediction syndrome. Waterhouse Fredrickson syndrome, Waterhouse Fredrickson syndrome, or little adrenal hemorrhage or that. Fredrickson syndrome, yeah, remember, so adrenal gland. Usually you have a adrenal hemorrhage, adrenal hemorrhage, okay? That is the thing happening in the Waterhouse Fredrickson, Fredrickson. But in gonococcus, the complex is called water can perineum. This question was asked in my MCI time, but I don't know about now, but in my PG time also, this question was a water can perineum was repeatedly asked question, okay? And even Fitzhugh-Curtis syndrome, one more syndrome, Fitzhugh-Curtis syndrome. DA, these two, Fitzhugh-Curtis. Curtis syndrome, okay. G, gonococcus, also if you remember, okay, usually they have hepatitis, perihepatitis, okay. Uh, I'm not going to detail, but another most important thing from uh, FMG point of view is the media. So media has been asked, what is the media for the uh, nasiria, especially gonococcus, whatever. Okay. But nasiria, they ask. Nasiria media, ka how to remember? Nisha. Nisha is nothing but Nasiria, right? Nasiria. Nasiria is Nisha. Nisha ka boyfriend hai. Sir, sabko boyfriend kar diya. Yes, there's no other way. That is the easy way you'll remember. Nisha ka boyfriend hai. Martin. Wo kahan se hai? New York se hai. He's from New York. He's a foreign boyfriend. Remember, Nisha ka boyfriend foreign se hai. Local nahi hai. Okay? Nisha ka boyfriend is from foreign. Martin kya hai? Tyre Martin. Tyre Martin. I, I usually, you know, call chocolate boy. Chocolate boy Martin. Okay. Tyre Martin and chocolate agar. Tyre Martin and chocolate agar. Tyre Martin and chocolate agar. Okay. For the, these are the special medias. And modified New York media also. Modified New York media. That's what I said. Okay. Tyre Martin, chocolate agar, modified New York media. These all are the media for Nazaria. Okay. But in Gonococcus, there's a transport media. If you remember, that was also asked many times. Okay. Uh, gonococcus ke transport kya hai? Nisa ka transport karne ke liye kya chahiye? Strout. Strout and ME. Strout and ME, they transport the ME, they transport the nasiria, especially gonococcus. Okay, Strout and ME's media was also asked. Strout and ME, Strout and ME, Nisa ko transport karne ke liye. Viva ko transport karne ke liye, Venkatramanan chahiye tha. But yaan par uh, ye Nisa ko transport karne ke liye, Strout and ME chahiye tha. But Nishaka boyfriend, Tyre Martin, Tyre Martin Media, or Chocolate Agar also can be used, or modified New York Agar, New York modified Agar. Okay. Yeah, Tyre Martin is from New York. Nisha, she's smart. She has a foreign boyfriend, New York boyfriend. Okay, got it? Finished. 
So we have finished another big topic. Nasiria is over. Okay. And one more thing. Nasiria infections are very common in which deficiency? If you remember, membrane attack complex. Membrane attack complex. It's in the complement system. If you see C1 to C1 to C9 deficiency in this infection, which infections are common? Nasiria infections are common. You have to remember. Any means, by any means, please. These are the uh, crispy tip wala questions. You know, that you don't have any chance to leave. Okay. That's it. Now, next one. All are false about the exotoxin. All are false about the exotoxin. Once again. Huh. All are false about exotoxin except. Okay. So, uh, now we have to know exotoxin and exotoxin time has come now. Okay. So, we will know. So, before going to exotoxin, let's know gram positive gram negative bacteria the difference. And then go to toxin. It will be more easier. Okay. Now, uh, you have gram positive. This question was asked how to differentiate gram positive gram negative also was asked. This is a commonly asked gram positive gram negative and exotoxin endotoxin are the frequently asked ones, right? Exotoxin, endotoxin, and endotoxin. Both the differences you must know. Very, very simple and easy. As I told you already, all the positive people are purple color. Negative people are pink color. Okay, yeah, first difference. Let me just change the color so it will be more uh, nice to see. Okay, purple and pink. Okay, gram positive gram negative. Dusra positive mein, positive is P. So, is mein kya hoga? you have peptidoglycan layer. Peptidoglycan layer, important. Okay, P, one more P. Dusra hai penta valentine bridge. They have a penta valentine bridges. Penta valentine bridge bhi hai is mein. Okay. So that can be a question. Let's ask, but peptidoglycan, you must know purple, purple, peptidoglycan, all important penta valentine. And one more thing is what they have what? Tecoic acid. T. They go T positive jessa hai. Or you remember PPT, OB, ECA, but you know, a lot of pneumonia will cause confusion. So, scale, I'm not giving too much things to confuse you. Yeah, tecoic T is looking like a plus only, na positive. Hai. So, tecoic acid. Tecoic acid. Tecoic acid kis chis ke liye? Thickne ke liye. For attachment. For attaching. Okay. Tecoic acid usually is for attachment. Okay. Tech attach. Thick attach. A T attach. Okay. Same. Negative people ka kya hota hai? Negative people to usually they are fatty. Negative people usually kya kar garpe bete ke bete ke they become fatty. No offense. This is just for only examination purpose. Don't mistake me guys. This is the way you're going to remember. And sare time gusa gusa hota hai. Uska wajse they are pinky. Negative people are very pinky because they're angry. And next one they are fatty because kya hai? Isme lipid jada hai. That means lipopolysaccharide layer. Lipopolysaccharide. LPS layer is present in they are gram negative only. That's the important thing I want to stress here. This is the main thing. And because of the lipopolysaccharide only, what you have, lipopolysaccharide layer produces what? They produce which one? They produce endotoxin. Endotoxin. So, abhi yada kya? So, endotoxin means, how to remember? Do log hota hai. Usually kya? Endo means inside house. Gar ke andar hai. They are usually inside house. Inside house. Exo means bar jata, outside. And they go outside. Very happy, happy outside going people. Yeah. Extrovert, introvert. Okay. Extrovert, introvert, exotoxin. So inside house, garke and they are usually negative. So gram negative bacteria. That's what I'm saying. Gram negative people have to negative people, have fatty people, have lipopolysaccharide. Many with lipid with lipopolysaccharide. So lipopolysaccharide is the one producing endotoxin. So negative is producing only endotoxin. Endotoxin is from only gram negative. But exotoxin is an Gram positive also, gram, they are good with everyone. They are good with everyone. Exo, extrovert, the fun loving, outside going people, they like everyone. So both the gram positive and gram negative are producing. Right. Okay. Got it. Endotoxin. Another important difference is that uh, we told exo endo. Yeah. Uh, another, uh, what are other difference? Yeah. So the exotoxin produced both gram and Endotoxin, heat, garke andari rekta hai. So they are heat. Stable. Usko kuch nahi hota. Gar ke andar hai na. Gar ke andar to garmi nahi hai. So they are stable. But exotoxin. Baar jade mein kya hota hai? Heat jada aata hai. The, the weather is very hot outside. So they become labile. Extrovert people usually get heat labile. That's the bad thing. But it doesn't matter. But they are cool. They both gram negative producing this thing. Now this is endotoxin is non-specific. Usko alag bol nahi ka kuch achcha chiz nahi hai. So because gar ke andar bedi ho to how you become popular. So no any special things. But uh, exotoxin, they are used for producing toxoid because they are specific for each one. 
they are specific for each bacteria. They're specific for each bacteria. So you can make toxoid, tetanus toxoid, diphtheria toxoid. But there's so many toxoids you can make. But ye to ghar ke andre beta hua hai. So nahi hai. So there is no special. There is nothing's not specific. It's not specific. Got it? Itna hai. You would have, now you can, now you can answer this question. Come here. Now let's solve this question. I've given you a very easy clue. Gram negative people, gram positive people, extrovert, introvert. Clues sab hai aapko. Introvert is negative people. Usi se hi aapko pura kadam ho jayega. Chik hai? Now look at this beautiful question. Very fun question. All are false about exotoxin except. Okay. Or see, ye question dekhi directly they would ask, which is true? Better ask which is true. And itna puchne ke liye, just tell which is true for exotoxin ka so. So exotoxin ka mene already clue de diya. Exo means outside going people. So they are heat heat se label ho jata, mar jata hai. But kya hai? They are very good people. Extrovert people. Iska vatshe gram positive bhi produce karta hai. Gram negative bhi produce karta hai. And they are special people. Extrovert. So they produce toxoid. They help people. They help people. Producing toxoid. Extrovert people. They help people. So let's solve the question. LPS in nature? No. Because they are extrovert. Uska fat nahi hai. Nahi na? They don't have fat. Only introverts have fat. Produced by gram native battery only? No. Extrovert people are very good. They are good with all. Positive people, gram positive, gram positive, gram positive, gram positive, happy, happy, hai, kush, kush. Hai. And hai, heat stable? No. Gar ke bar jate ho. You'll be labile. Bar jate hai. Extrovert will die. So, out. Toxoid can be produced? Of course. Extrovert people are good people. They are nice people. So, they are helping people. So, toxoid, they are specific toxoid. Your answer is toxoid can be produced. Got it. It's nahi hai. Very simple and easy. So, have you got it, guys? I think I've made very easy and very, very that you even without only thing is that in exam, if you forget with 19 subjects, so many things comes. You, this gram posture, gram negative, exotoxin, toxin, a question definitely you have under the growth curve also. That's what I made it so. Growth curve, to think your college race, lag, log phase. Okay. Gram positive, gram negative, negative people ko soch lo, positive people ko soch lo. Negative to lipid hai, fatty hai. Positive people hai to PP. Sab PP me hona hai, ek T, tecoic acid, T. Usme ek clue hai. Okay, positive. Exotoxin, endotoxin, to introvert, extrovert. Introvert to fatty, gar ke andar, everything negative, heat to stable, gar ke andar, chup chup better. Extrovert are good people, they go out, they mingle with everyone, they help people, but only problem, heat me mar jata. This is my way of interpretation of exotoxin, endotoxin, but these are produced by your bacteria. Okay, it clear? I'm sure, I think you're clear. And uh, so uh, apart from this, please don't forget the toxin mechanisms which we talk, DPC, decreased protein synthesis, and then camp ka, camp, Sheila and T60S, EF2 factor, and that list. Okay, this you will definitely have question. That's what I'm in general bacteriology. Me, this is the thing you have to revise. So revise with me, you will have fun and it'll be very, very easy. Okay, yes. Next question. Arrange the order. Arrange this order. Look, uh, now let's arrange this order. Uh, so this is arrange the following in order most of the most to least resistant matlab, highly resistant so this is basically sterilization topic in sterilization whenever we are sterilizing the items we have something which are very strongly resistant then least resistant okay so you should find out so now first question spores and prions may i'm not going to take this one i this is not right answer because the most 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 resistant one in the earth is Prions. Prions are protein substances. Prions, I'm sorry. I, I'll talk about prions in a while now. Uh, we, we will, I think, huh, yes, we're going to talk about prions. But remember, we think spores. Spores is the one we are usually thinking. But spores se jada katarna koine aapka prions. So, prions first. Spores, okay, prions. Spores. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, I'll write it here. So, instead of going to option, first is prions always. Followed by prions is your prions is a proteinaceous substance and spores. After spores, it's your mycobacterium, TB. Mycobacterium, any mycobacterium is a TB. It's very, you know, difficult to sterilize. Then followed by mycobacterium is your, uh, which one? Which one? Which which virus you will say? No, a virus, virus, of course, virus. But which virus? You're going to say non-enveloped or I will say non-enveloped. Non-enveloped. I'll tell you the reason. Non-enveloped virus. Then comes your enveloped virus. Enveloped virus, which is easy to kill. Enveloped virus. Q. Sir, why non-enveloped case hai sa? Enveloped pana chahiye tha na? Non-enveloped case hai Because no enveloped hai to, there is a enveloped hai. This is a, this is a uh, virus. So, to, so enveloped hai to, it is easy for a sterilizer to act and kill it. But if there is no envelope, there is no 
there is no target now where the sterilizer will go and act. That's what we say, non-enveloped virus, it's difficult to kill. So if you see this order, where is this order? So I'm finding the answer, prions, yeah, spores, mycobacterium, naked. Naked is actually, it's a uh, non-enveloped or naked. They're same meaning only, naked virus, enveloped virus. So this is important. The most resistant organism in our body is prions, followed by spores. This you have to remember. Now, there can be a question, how do you uh, kill the sp uh, prions? This is asked in PG question, but I don't know how they're going to... See, for spores, not a problem. See, to kill the spores, you have so many ways to kill the spores. If you remember, we have so many sterilization methods. If you remember, one second, I'm just going to come there. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll just change the color. I'm just going to change the color. Now, spores ka kill karne ke liye, you have so many methods. See, you have you can use ethylene oxide, ethylene oxide, one method. Otherwise, you can use formaldehyde, formaldehyde. You can use glutaraldehyde, glutaraldehyde, and uh, and you can use H2O to plasma sterilization. Okay, and then you can use autoclave, autoclave, and you can use hot air oven, hot air oven. So many methods are there. Plasma sterilization, everything you can use. These things you can use. But prions, it's difficult. Even in this, you can't kill it. Prions is very highly resistant because that is a protein material. There is no DNA. Remember, this is question. P4, P, only protein positive, no nucleic acid. No nucleic acid. That's important. So how to kill it? So there are three ways. Who can kill the prions? The strong lady. Who is the strong lady? Sasuma. Sas. You know, Sas means what? She is a mother-in-law. Only a mother-in-law mother-in-law she can kill the most resistant one now because she kills the daughter-in-law uh, whatever everything she kills but she can kill the, she can kill prions also okay what, what is this sir say ka gaya. so yes for sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide okay sodium hydroxide remember and the other is for sodium hypochlorite sodium hypochlorite okay yeah, yeah sodium hydro hydroxide NaOH basically it's NaOH and other one is your sodium hypochlorite, NaOCl. Okay, sodium hypochlorite. Okay, two. And A for autoclave. Autoclave means temperature bada on. I'll tell you about that now. So sodium hypochlorite is, is usually one percent, one percent or one n. We say one n for how many hours? You will leave it for one hour. All mostly everything is one hour only, one or two hours ka range only. So no problem. Sodium hypochlorite is zero point five percentage we are using. Zero point five percentage we are using, and that is for how many? Two hours. Two hours. Autoclave, normally autoclave is how much? You remember the temperature of autoclave? It is 121 degree Celsius, 15 minutes, 15 PSI, right? 15 PSI. Here, it would be, here it will be 134 degree Celsius for two hours. One to two hours, 134 degree for one to two hours. Please remember, this will be asked. Everything, this question is important. Prions killing, there are three ways. A, sasuma, only sasuma can kill. So sodium hypochlorite, or sodium uh, sodium hydroxide, sodium hypochlorite. Autoclamate, temperature, one that we call two hours. You're drinking. Usually it's 15 minutes, but here you're using two hours to kill a prion. That much dangerous. Okay. And prions disease, may I don't know how important, but uh, in medicine, I'm sure you won't read it. All the name, 